Alec Baldwin looked over the moon as he was surrounded by his wife Hilaria and their seven children in the first family photo to include every member of the family. The couple's baby daughter Ilaria, who was born late last month, was featured together with all of her siblings and both parents for the first time. The sweet photo was a contrast to the dark cloud encircling the 64-year-old actor, as New Mexico prosecutors revealed that he may be charged for fatally shooting cinematographer Hina Hutchins on the set of his western film Rust, though he claims that he never pulled the trigger of the prop gun. In the lovely family photo, Alec is seen at the foot of his bed with Hilaria, 38, by his side. He was dressed in a black shirt and dark trousers with black socks, while she looked angelic in a white stained slip with a lacy top. The Hunt for Red October star held one of their sons in his lap and beamed ear to ear, while Hilaria showed off a sweet smile and nuzzled her cheek against another child. She held baby Ilaria in her arms and cradled the back of her head. In her caption, Hilaria noted that Ireland Baldwin, Alex's older daughter from his marriage to Kim Basinger, wasn't included in the photo. Our first photo with the smallest Baldwins. What a Baldwinito dream team. Ireland, you are missed and loved, sparkles, she began the caption on her Instagram post. Now my love letter to, the photographer Arula Dimitriou, 20 years of friendship, you have captured memories of my family since we was pregnant with Rafa. We are grateful to you. Mama, artist, one tough cookie, multi-human, Rue makes it a joy to take maternity and family photos. She has the patience of a saint, the calm of a wise woman, and the touch of a mama. We love you. Check her out and give some love. Also on Monday, Alec was seen looking stone-faced as he headed to lunch in New York City. The 30 Rock star covered up from the rain in a black coat and wore charcoal pants with black loafers. He contrasted the dark look with his spiky salt and pepper hair and his close cropped mostly white beard. He was seen loading some bags into the trunk of a black SUV before heading out to eat. Baldwin could be facing serious criminal charges, as prosecutors in New Mexico indicated late last month in a letter to the state's financial board that he might be among those prosecuted for the death of cinematographer Hina Hutchins. Hutchins was as the cinematographer on the western film Rust in New Mexico, which Baldwin was producing and starring in when Baldwin accidentally shot and killed her while holding a prop gun that appears to have been loaded, breaking on-set safety protocols. The Santa Fe District Attorney District Attorney Mary Carmack Altwees wrote in her letter that she was ready to file charges against four people. Although she didn't specify what she planned to charge the individuals, she wrote that she was certainly looking at all the homicide statutes and any gun statutes under New Mexico Criminal Code. One of the possible defendants is well-known movie actor Alec Baldwin, she continued. The assistant DA requested a sum of $635,000 to prosecute the cases, and she noted that she requested such a large figure because they are likely to have experienced, high-profile lawyers. However, the state ultimately settled on giving her $317,000 to appoint a special prosecutor to take on the case. Baldwin has continued to defend himself ever since the onset tragedy, and he has attempted to shift the blame to the production's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, as he says the gun should never have been filled with live rounds and should only have been loaded with blanks. Gutierrez Reed was named in a wrongful death lawsuit filed by Hutton's family, along with prop master Sarah Zachary and assistant director Dave Halls, who allegedly handed the gun to Baldwin. Baldwin, 
the film's other producers and its production company were also named in the suit. Gutierrez Reed has so far advanced a theory that someone may have sabotaged the gun by putting a live round in it, and she has lambasted police investigation Hutchins' death for not seeking fingerprints and DNA evidence from the bullets on set. A Santa Fe Sheriff's Office detective told the armorer's attorney that it didn't make sense to test the bullets because they may have been handled by many people on the film set, according to email correspondence released by her Gutierrez Reed's attorney.